Don't believe, don't believe everything, guys. Do not believe everything. This game has terrible reviews. Terrible reviews. I don't know. It's people are crazy, man. People are crazy. I'm bringing this game to you guys today. I am been having a blast with it. And by the way, look at how gorgeous it looks. So I have it dumbed down a little bit uh, because the file size of this game is just ridiculous, man. Like 10 minute video or maybe like 15 minute video, 200 gigabytes, dude. It's what I'm kidding, man. So it is insane. It's a lot, a lot of graphics, guys. But, oh, hello. Hi, are you running in circles around me? Oh, hi. Hi, buddy. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Oh, he's gonna pull a gun on us, dude. <laughs> no way. Get out of here. You silly fool. Alright, guys. So, anyway, I'm pretty excited, man. Welcome to The Hunter. Uh, I have I have been playing this game kind of religiously the last couple of days, and I decided to record it, you know, and bring you guys a recording here. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna run up, go out this are you kidding me, bro? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Not if you do that. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, he wants to hunt together. Uh, so, anyway, guys. I am... I'm going to start walking down this path here. Um, so, and talk about the game a little bit here. Guys, we... This game has a couple bad reviews. But the reason being is... People are stupid. <laughs> uh, I mean, people are just generally stupid. Uh, because the reason they have bad reviews is because everybody expects to hop into this game and go and shoot some animals and hunt some things. And, like, it's like it's all, like, super fast, you know? Like, there are a couple games like that called, like, Cabela's Big Game Hunter and stuff like that and all the Cabela games. And, you know, they're, like, all just, like, running, gunning, like, shooting, shooting up animals and all that fun jazz. But this... This game is so realistic, guys. As you can see how, how slow we're moving. If we were actually going out to hunt deer right now, <laughs> we would be super slow, super quiet, you know, the whole nine yards here, uh, which is what we are doing right here. This guy kind of screwed us over with that huge gunshot because all the animals are probably gone now. Uh, but this is... So I think what people don't understand is this is an actual simulation, guys. This is a real-time simulation of hunting. So with that said, it's not its not just like a run-and-gun, you know, video game where you think you're going to find animals to hunt and stuff and they're right around the corner and you can just run around the map and kill them. If I am not... If I'm... Stay, stay yards away... Where is this guy? Martin to Wolves. Okay, let's check out a couple things here. Here is our map. Um, I'm not coming to you, buddy. Uh, here is our map, guys. So we have it. Let me zoom out. Check this out, guys. Look at how big this map is. That is enormous. And we are playing in one little area. It's called a reserve right here. And I think it's like, I think it's called Loggers Point. Um, reserve but this is our little area here which still just this area is enormous guys so as you can see this is where we spawned in uh, you can spawn in right here you can also spawn in right over here and these two areas you can actually fast travel around to get to the opposite sides of the map here um, with that said this all this crap on here are these guys right here down the line are just like telephone poles down a big like I don't know. They're just kind of like marker bearings. These are really cool. Like this guy. So one, two, and three down here are your deer stands. So those are, or just tree stands. I guess they're not only to shoot deer, but uh, just tree stands. So that is pretty cool. Those are crucial, crucial areas. I think we're going to be heading around this area maybe. Maybe even down. Yeah, I want to kind of head around here. So... Uh, as you can see, there are lines on this map. Those are people's paths that they've taken. Uh, I am red, and I'm kind of hiding behind this guy's line right here. So we are still walking. As you can maybe hear in the background, watch. I'll exit the map. Look it. I am still, still walking. That is probably the coolest feature on this entire map here. And <laughs> it has... Don't, dude. He's whistling now, man. Why are you doing that? Um, anyway, we have an auto walk feature guys, which is really really cool. So I just pressed the Q button. Oh look at what we found here 
I just press the Q button and we automatically walk. So right here, let's uh let's pull out. We have a PDF here, and we have a little clue here: mule deer roaming. So that is saying that there's a mule deer roaming that direction. If you guys can see that, like on the map there, there's like a triangle that's pointing that direction. Um, this is like it's kind of telling you like clues. If you can see, you see these tracks on the ground. They're like deer tracks and they're glowing purple. I don't know why I have them as purple, but it's probably not the best color to be able to visually see. But um, we can click on that and check this out. So this says, um, whoops, what does it say? Mule deer roaming. Okay, so it says that there's mule deer roaming that way, which I honestly, I don't think that's going to be really the case. I think these are kind of older tracks or something, but I'm going to keep heading on this direction. But as you guys can see, do you see that purple up there in front of me? That is where how you find tracks. So you can go up to here. We can kind of look down and see what kind of track it is. Oh my gosh, is it poop? It's poop, guys. Look at all the poop on the ground. <laughs> oh man, all right. Um, let's see, mule deer roaming. Oh, age 59 to 60 minutes ago. So that is an hour old poop, guys. Hour old poop. Poopy. <laughs> hour old poopy. Um, let's keep going. So we're gonna keep going. Let's go this way over here And I'm gonna auto walk here. So I want to explain a couple things here and On the bottom right hand side you can see those two little symbols right there the one symbol It looks like a, a guy kneeling down because that is what I'm doing. I'm actually kneeling down uh, Right now walking through here because it makes a lot less noise if you stand up and walk Ooh, did you hear that, guys? Whoops. Whoops. Mule deer roaming female. Did you hear that? Okay, so there is... There's another one. Okay. Mule deer female. Um, let's check this out real quick. Let's see these tracks here. Okay, mule deer roaming. Okay, so it's going that way. So let's go to the female over here. So as you saw on the map, it kind of like... When you can hear a deer like make a call or something, it, it comes up on the map as like... Oh, mule deer fleeing? Hmm. It comes up on the map is like a little circle that kind of like expands. So anyway, it was over in this direction. So if we slowly head over this direction, we can try to track this mule deer over here. That is what we're hunting for. Um, oh, and what I was saying on the bottom right. So I am, I am kneeling right now or crouching. So is he, as you can see. That's how you walk when you're crouching. And I can also... You can also stand up. You can also run, which you do not want to do. That is probably the thing that most people do when they first start this game. You do not want to run anywhere. You don't even want to walk anywhere. You want to crouch walk uh, because you will scare animals from up to like almost a mile away or something crazy like that. Like they all just run away. If you if you just start walking around like kind of speedy on this map. You literally won't see an animal the entire time you're playing. So that is why this game has bad reviews and such, I believe. You know, other than that, the other reason that people might... Here, let me talk to this guy right, real quick. Female. Um, yeah, so let me... Uh, oh, yeah, let me explain real quick. So the other reason I think that this game might have a couple bad reviews is because people don't like... Um, having to pay, you know, to play. This is not really, I want to say, very, very lax. This is a free-to-play game, guys. You can hop on here. Um, hello. No, I don't want to abandon that trail. That's a different one, though. Let me, let me see. Mule deer, female. Okay, that's a different one. They're up here. All the mule de deer are up here. Um, so, this is a free-to-play game, guys. You can hop on here. Uh, the link is in the description, obviously. It always is. And you can just download it. It's free to play. They give you um, some things to start out with. But past that point, you can't do much without paying for a subscription. And hear me out, guys. I know nobody likes to constantly pay for a game and stuff like that. But that happens all the time. You guys, you guys would be surprised... I mean, World of Warcraft is one of the most popular games in the entire world. Everybody pays monthly for it. You know what I mean? So it's not that big of a deal. With this game being a simulation and as realistic as it is, 
I enjoy, you know, pumping a couple dollars into someone's pocket for them to keep updating something so I can have fun. You know what I mean? So, with that said, though, you do not need to buy anything. It, it just makes it so much more fun if you actually do. And I think the subscription thing to unlock everything, I think it's like $14 for three months. Like a three-month subscription. So that is really, really not bad at all. Um, that'll unlock a whole bunch of new guns and stuff. And, yeah, all that fun jazz like that. So let's see here. We're going to kind of... Let's get in a little brush over here. This is the area where the deer was just calling. Um, and I want to... I want to camp out right here for a second let's just sit here and chill with this dude i don't know who he is uh so you know what we're gonna do i want to i'm gonna show you real quick our, our inventory so our inventory so they give you this rifle to start with the game uh it's a 243 bolt action rifle and they give you unlimited ammo for it and then uh and a scope it's not a, an amazing scope but it's a scope um also they give you right here, it's a deer collar, uh, a camera, and binoculars, which is really, really cool. So that's what we're going to use right now, and he's even saying it. Let's use the collar. Okay, so let's use this real quick. <laughs> Son. Oh, there they go. Guys, do you see him call back? Or do you hear him call back? Um, okay, roaming female. Okay, straight ahead. Um, let's continue up here. Oh, and I see some tracks up here, too. So we want to be a little bit careful. I also set up my my keyboard binding a little bit different than normal. So here is the binoculars, which is awesome. Oh, the reason I'm saying about the key binding is because it's uh it's a lot easier if you actually like just set it up yourself instead of pressing a bunch of buttons for it. Oh, let's get this one. So if you guys see, I want to tell you real quick. See how big and glowing that that purple one is right there, and then those ones are small. So the small ones over there, those are different tracks. Like those are oh, somebody got a nice mule deer. Wow. Uh, score one ten or one fourteen. So those are different tracks over there, the smaller purple ones. And then uh, this big purple one, this is the same track that we're already following. So you want to continue following and up at the top of that PD I don't know what you call it, man. This our little device here, but you see the two flashing red lights. So we have followed a second part of this track, of this trail here. Um, and once you follow the third, it'll basically tell you where the animal is located. So tracking is really, really important in this game. Uh, as you can see, look at how many tracks are right there. But those are all from different animals and stuff. And we are... Oh, and by the way, the free-to-play, they only let you unlock mule deer and two different types of rabbits to hunt. There's the call again, man. This guy, this girl just loves calling. It's a girl. Um, okay, so do you see that purple one right there to my left? And then the purple one to my right. The purple one to my right is obviously the track that we are on, that we're trying to go on. So uh, the deer is up here a little bit. As you can see, it was kind of highlighted on the map. Let's check it out, what it says here. I want to get one kill in today. That would be so awesome, guys, if we got a kill in. Um, deal roaming. Okay, so we have three flashing r lights on the top of that thing. And now it's telling us the deer is behind us, which is not... Do not think that's true because that m that track might be a little bit old. Uh, so that is the one thing. You got to worry about, like, tracks... Oh, that was him. Okay, tracks have to make sense, you know what I mean? Oh, where is he? I don't even see him. That's how camouflaged you are. Um, where is this guy? Oh, am I not looking at him right? I don't even know. He's saying what's that? Oh, there he is. He's all the way over there. Look at it, guys. He's saying what's that? Okay, we got the... Oh, okay, guys. Looks like we're on the track for it. Um, as you can see on the map, the big circle... It, the deer is within that big circle because the circle is not dotted. It's, a, it's an actual solid circle. And then that triangle, that's where we're walking because it's kind of pinpointed in that area. In that triangle, in the circle, should be your kill. Or should be your deer. Oh, and by the way, if you guys don't like killing animals and stuff, <laughs> don't watch anymore. Uh, because hopefully that's what we're... Dang it! Did you hear that, guys? 
The stupid deer ran away. Dang. Dang it. This, this, yeah, the deer ran away. As you can see on the map now, the circle went um, dotted. So now it's a dotted circle. So that means the deer is not in the circle anymore, which blows. So we're going to have to walk this way and continue on over here. And let's, here, let me talk to him. I found a female deer. Should I shoot? Oh, here, we hear the deer again. Mule deer, female. Oh, it's right over by him. Um, let me see. I want to see if I can shoot. Can can I shoot it? <laughs> Uh, I'm I just want to let him I just want to see if he'll let me shoot it um, and I'm recording so I want to I'm recording so I want to I want to see if he'll let us shoot it just so you guys can see in the first episode here uh, oh there it is there it is guys there it is so I'm gonna go prone here and be very very careful let's get up on this rock and let's pull out our binoculars and so we can see it um, where is it? Where'd you, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Guys, this is so difficult, um, to be very good at. So let's see. I want to be very, very sneaky. I get next one. Oh, okay. For YouTube. <laughs> oh, what was that noise? What was that noise? Where? Oh, I heard, I heard it. Okay. Where is it? Okay. It's still right over in this direction, guys. So it's somewhere right over here. Um, and he is actually, he's a lot closer to it than I am. So let's try to sneak up here a little bit. I'm going to get out, out of prone and just go into this view here. And, oh, there it is. I see it walking. It's pretty far away now. So, oh, there's two, he says. Okay. Um, let's try to get a good hunt where we can actually shoot at the same time. Once you shoot, guys, there's going to be no animals in the area for about 10 minutes uh let's see here can i hunt with you sure um okay so oh is that that's him right there let's take a look at him there he is okay and where is the deer there's a deer right there guys okay it's behind that tree if you can see it oh there's two okay let's see all right i'm ready okay okay I'm ready. I'm ready. Here, let's see, guys. We're going to zoom in real quick. And, oh, there he is. Let's check it out. Wait, 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 wait. Um, I want to make sure we're going to get this kill, guys. So let's get a little bit closer without spooking. Um, and let's go around this little corner. So this is so realistic, as you guys can probably tell, and it's, I love it, I love it. Okay, okay, I see it, I see the, I see its ass, all right, okay, ready? Uh, let me see if it's ready, so you can also hold your breath, and, <laughs> no, some other dude, so you can hold your breath right here, and shoot, oh, oh, oh. Let me let go of my breath. I'm going to shoot this one, actually, because that's going to be a better shot. You want to aim towards... Um, whoops. Let's stand up. You want to aim towards the heart and stuff, guys. So, let's see. If I can go right here. There we go. Okay. Let's get a good shot. Uh-oh. 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 Dang it. Dang it. Oh, man. Oh. <sighs> He shot too soon, guys. Shot too soon. That's okay, though. I was waiting too long for him. Um, I was definitely waiting too long. So, I don't know if I hit the deer or not. We're going to have to track it now and figure that out. So, let's go up to this big, the big track right here. And, hmm. It doesn't look like the best. <laughs> doesn't look like we did it, guys. I don't know, man. I don't know. That sucks, dude. He just didn't really care. Uh, oh, my gosh. What the heck is happening? Oh, oh, dude, that scared the crap out of me. You know what he's doing is he is looking at his trophy. So you can basically move around um, that picture and make like a picture of yourself uh, after you kill, a, kill an animal or whatever. So that's kind of cool. Uh, but anywho, yeah, he's wearing like... What is it called? It's called like a 
Gillian suit, I think, or something. I don't know. It's something like that. Uh, but anyway, guys, moving on, moving on. I want to I wanna kind of get away from these guys because they are making our hunt kind of bad over here. I mean, it's nice to hunt with some people if everybody is on the same page and such. But since they are not, there is so many people just right in the little, like, area here. I wanted to be the one that shot that deer. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So I want to get one kill in this episode. Um, and, you know, I have been playing this game quite a bit. So I want... You know what, guys? Real quick, I'm going to I'm gonna uh, put in... Actually, no, we won't do that. I was going to put in, like, a little clip of me killing a deer from before. But now we're going to do it. We're going to do it for reals on the YouTubes. You know what I mean? So I think that's a little bit smarter. Uh, just so it's not like previous footage or whatever. But I have been playing quite a bit. Look at how many people are right in that one area. Let's check out the map real quick. Look at all these people, dude. There's so many people in this one area, guys. As you can see, we barely moved from our house here. And I'm still trying to go all the way over here. Um, I'm just trying to get away from them. And you want to you want to check out all the tracks like this like see there's tracks right here cottontail rabbit tracks uh, But you want to check them out because you can update or update you can uh, you can get like um, Upgrades or whatever and oh, there's one thing I didn't mention Instead of like paying for things with real money. You can actually follow like a list of like um, Oh says there's a deer over here you can follow a list of like missions and there's a whole another thing that's called like GM. So there's EMs and GMs. EMs are like electronic money, which is like, I believe that's what it stands for, but it's, that is real money. So that is you guys spending real money or people spending real money on here. And the GMs are like in game money. What are you doing over there, bro? The GMs are like in-game money that you can actually make through doing missions. So that is what's really cool. Uh, you can actually, you can upgrade things, get different guns and stuff like that. He's using like a little 22 pistol and that's what it sounds like that. Uh, but yeah, you can get different upgrades. So we are looking for, there's only one other gun actually that you can get without real money. Which is a shotgun. So I am trying to level up my character a little bit to get a shotgun. So I can go hunt uh Are you for real, bro? Why are you running, man? Why are you running? Guys, these guys these guys are gonna make it terrible on us to hunt. See, he's like he's like running and that's just scaring everybody away. Oh my gosh, look at how many people are here. <laughs> Gillian's suit is uh, so awesome and uh, okay, so I'm kind of just walking here and They are running which are scaring all the animals away man, but look at how many people we have hunting with us That dude's like in the ground right there <laughs> That is hilarious, but guys before we finish up the episode here I'm not gonna finish it right this second. I'm just I'm just warning you before we finish the episode I am gonna show you a kill so, I want to get my first kill on the YouTubes, bro. Uh, but, it's, it's way difficult with uh, with all these people, man. It's, like, super difficult. Like, look at all these people. It's so crazy. I've never hunted with this many people. And I've, I've hunted, like, kind of crazy the last couple of days. So, um, Colin, find a trail. Um, yeah, he was in the ground. Found one. Found one. Uh, let's see. Found one. Um, I don't know why. That was actually me that whistled, guys. I, I, I accidentally hit the wrong button. Dang it. <laughs> uh, there's like a whistle thing. That is for birds and stuff. So if you go to, if you go to like uh, the lakes and stuff and ponds, like, like over here, like there's lakes and stuff and like different types of birds and, you know, different types of stuff. You can set up like your blinds and stuff. And then you can whistle and all the birds will like fly up out of the water and then you, you shoot them in the air. So that is pretty cool. And let's let's continue on here, guys. So I know we're getting a little lengthy in the episode. I don't really want to cut it out though, because I mean, I don't know. I think it I think it's just more real, you know, if we find something together. 
instead of like cutting out, you know, to find something. But who knows? Who knows? Let's just try to find some more trails here. So there's another track right over here. And obviously we didn't even get any. Oh, oh, I hear a sound. That is. Oh, that's a white tailed deer. So we don't have a license for that, which is pretty. Un oh my gosh. These guys are just shooting everything here. That's going to be terrible. Terrible for us to find something because once animals hear a gunshot, they are fleeing everywhere. Uh, use the call. I'll use the call. Okay. There's a deer right there. Deer right there. Deer. Deer. Okay. So I'm going to tell them and hopefully they don't... Uh, Run up to it. If you guys saw it, it ran right over that hill over there. So we're going to slowly track this deer over here. Straight ahead. Uh, I'm going to tell him. Straight ahead. I need one kill for my YouTubes, people. Let me get it. <laughs> Let's look at these guys. Who are we with? We're only with this one dude. Okay. Interesting. You know what I could do? Is I could, uh, I could do... Here, let's do this. Let's go on the maps. And I can go to options and gameplay. I'm going to show players names on. Okay, save. And now I can see everybody's name um, on the map and stuff like that. Or not even on the map, just like right behind me. So you can see where everybody is and their distance from me right here. So that is pretty cool. And let's, let's set up this little hill. So hopefully, where, how far away is Piggy Hunter? He's firing right now. Oh, he's pretty far away. So he's over 400 meters away. James is almost 40 meters away. So that's pretty good. And let's uh, let's get up on top of this hill. And I'm going to use the call again. Hopefully we see this deer somewhere. I do not see it yet. I'm going to get the tracking thing back out. So it says it kind of went this direction. Hmm. Do not see it. It's kind of like... I don't know. I have... um. Oh, there's something running over there. What is that? What are you? Whoops. What are you? That is a rabbit. Okay, we don't want that. We're looking for the deer here. Is that the deer? That is not. That is dirt. Okay, um, <laughs> that is dirt. Let's see. We need to find something, guys. We need to find something. I really, really don't want to cut out, man. All right, uh, I'm going to have to, though. I'm gonna have to, guys. We're getting we're getting too lengthy in this episode. We might not even be able to find one in this episode, but I do wanna uh, I do wanna post. Oh, oh, that was nothing. Um, really close. What is he saying? What's he saying? Oh yeah, the roaring. Really close. What? Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, guys. So you know what? I'm gonna cut out real quick, and I will be right back with something special. Something special happens. I'll be right back. Look what we have here. Look what we have here. Oh man, that is uh finally guys. I, I had to I had to trek a little far. Um and obviously oh as you can see, obviously we are in one of the deer stands here, which is really, really cool. I mean look at how far you can you can see so far around you guys for wildlife and such. And I wanted to mention something real quick. If you didn't want to kill any animals or anything, you don't have to. You know what they implemented in this game? Um, right here, a camera. So, I mean, you can literally take this camera, guys, and instead of hunting and killing and stuff, you can take pictures of animals, <laughs> which is super nice, right? I think that I think that's really nice. Uh, whoops. I <laughs> whoops. All right. Uh, so, here, how about this? Let's try it real quick. We'll take a quick picture. Uh, I can't zoom in any farther. It's kind of hard. All right, uh, so let's pull out the binoculars. So one thing you want to do is spot them, and that is kind of holding your binoculars on them. As you can see, he's kind of growing purple, and then it says up at the top, mule deer female, and it says the approximate weight um, and the score unlocks at level five. So we, we cannot make a score from it, but that is going to be our first kill, guys, hopefully. I don't see any other deer around. Here, let's just in case. What is that over there? Uh, that is a hog. Okay, so just in case, I'm going to use my collar real quick. He's still coming towards me. 
Oh, it's so funny every time I do that. Uh, she's still coming towards me, but I want to see. I mean, if we can get a buck, dude, that would be way, way. Hello. Was that her calling back? Let's see. Let's see. A mule deer female. Yep, that was her, and I'm facing at her. Okay, so it looks like. We are going to have to hit up this um, doe here. Let's see. I don't see anything else, man. I really, I was looking for, I was looking for a male deer or a buck here. Um, but that's okay. Uh, we'll, we'll hopefully get a buck later, probably in the next episode or something. So let's go ahead. So you zoom in and, oh yeah, if you guys don't want to watch me kill an animal, then don't watch. <laughs> Um, okay, so you zoom in, and as you can see, I'm a beginner, so it's very wobbly. Uh, I'm not even touching the mouse. It's just moving around that much because it's, it's really that wobbly. Here, and maybe she can even get closer to me. I wonder. Let's do the call one more time here and see if we can get her out of that bush there. Um, hopefully, that would be the case. Let's pull out the binoculars one more time. I want to look around one more time. I do not look at how far we can see, man. All right, I do not see anything else, though. It's kind of unfortunate. That's okay, though. Um, it just to get one deer, guys, is a big deal. I mean, you can go around in this game for an hour, two hours, three hours, and not see a deer. You know, so this is gonna be great. All right, so anyway, I can I have to hold my or hold my breath. To hold the rifle steady, and you want to hit for the heart. So hold on one second. Hold my breath. Okay, I'm holding breath. And oh, and right in. Ah, it looked like I got her underneath the heart. Um, is she gonna drop? Yep, she dropped. Okay. All right. So not too shabby. Um, it wasn't too, wasn't too bad of a kill. Let's go check out our kill down here. And uh, yeah, I mean she didn't suffer too much or anything, so that is good. Let's head on over here. So there's not going to be any animals anywhere close in the next, I don't know, for the next however long. It's going to be a while. I think it's like 10 in-game or 10 real-life minutes or something. Something like that. Uh, but as you can see, when you hit an animal, it will drop blood or whatever, you know. So here's blood right here, and then you can analyze it. So mule deer roaming. It's roaming. Its source of the blood is lungs slash heart. So that is definitely going to be a kill. If you hit in the lungs or the heart or vital areas, that is what you want to go for. So here's another one. And this is kind of how you find or follow your little path to where your, where your, you know, trophy awaits, I guess. Um, all right, let's get this one. There we go. And then where's the deer? It's right over here somewhere, right? Okay. And here's another one. There we go. Okay. And there she is. Yay! So we got our first deer, man. We can actually eat this deer. That is awesome. Uh, so you can take a picture of it right here. Um, or not take a picture, but add it to your thing. It doesn't give us a score because you need to shoot um, bucks to get a score. So male deers with the, with the antlers and stuff, which is what we're going to do pretty soon. So that's going to be awesome. Hopefully next episode. But look, it hits head, skull, right lung. It's wound time was 5.6 seconds. Trophy, integrity. Um, okay, so 55 kilograms. Now you can take a trophy shot with it. And look at this. There's like an editing mode where you can actually move, play with dead bodies, dude. That is so weird, man. It's so weird. But anyway, let's uh, let's put, put her all nice here. There we go. I keep saying her like it matters. Uh, all right, and let's take a little picture of our deer here. This is our first one. Uh, she's a little small, I know, but hopefully we can get uh, something better in the future here. All right, trophy shot confirmed. Awesome. Okay, so, guys, we have our first kill, man. First kill. I know this episode went a little lengthy here. And, by the way, the deer just disappears after that. But the ep episode went a little lengthy here. So I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Uh, I'm not going to do anything crazy. I'm actually going to crouch down again and walk. Uh, I'm going to go back to the stand. And I guess in the next episode, we can start off from where we are because we're really, really far. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to hit that rating button for me, that thumbs up preferably. That would be super, super awesome like always. And we will hopefully see you guys in the next episode. Later, peeps.